welcome or welcome back to my channel today we are doing a at home beauty maintenance routine this is for getting ourselves back to feeling good feeling confident getting off any excess hair some skin care some nail care some everything care if you enjoy this make sure to like comment subscribe and stay tuned so we must start off in the shower. I've got some exfoliating with my salt scrub going on because I am going to be shaving my legs. I'm just gonna be real with y'all because I can be, okay? I don't shave my legs that often. I don't know. I know summertime has just gone by, but my legs, they don't get that much attention from me when it comes to shaving. I'm going to change it. I'm going to change it. But this is the first shave in a little while. I'm not even going to lie to you. And I know there's some discourse about whether to shave up or down. But I saw this thing that said doctors shave any direction when they're preparing you for surgery. So I figured it really doesn't matter. So after that shower, I just go in and moisturize. I like to keep things simple, especially after shaving. I don't know, my pores are open. I don't wanna to put too much fragrance on. So I'm just going in with some shea butter and some lotion. Tip, shea butter first, then lotion. I promise y'all, it makes a world of a difference. I have done the reverse way. In theory, I would think shea butter lasts. It's the thickest, it'll hold everything in. No, y'all, I promise you, put that shea butter on first. And then I've just got some odor control, some panty spray, some witch hazel for your underarms and thighs, some ingrown hair treatment serum, just all those little things that make sure our hygiene is up to par. Hello, you guys. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today, we're doing a little pamper routine. I just need a complete body reset. I want to feel clean fresh just everything new i'm gonna be trying out a couple of new things to really just get a deeper refresh i am going to be dermaplaning today i've never done it before i have the tools to do it but i always use this for hair but now i want to try dermaplaning i'm really not sure the effects that it's gonna have on my skin because i don't think i have hair on my skin but i do remember when i did my mustache wax i didn't think i had hair there and i did so we're gonna try it the only oil i have is castor oil and i'm almost out i know you're supposed to pull your skin and then just like go like that right I heard that you get a nice glow afterwards. And then to really help to have that tight look, I also have this collagen mask I was actually sent to review and might as well actually put it in our little pamper routine. So this is a firming collagen mask. I already washed my face and I'm going to dermaplane. Then I guess I'll tone my face and then I'll put this on. It says, cleanse and tone your face, unfold, apply around eyes and mouth, leave on for 10 to 20 minutes, remove it, pat to absorb, and apply any remaining to your neck and your bodies. And then I also have this lash serum that I've also been using for the past couple of weeks to review. So we're gonna really get ourselves right i was gonna do face wax but since i'm dermaplaning i figured that should get all the hair right i really don't know how this is gonna work because castor oil is super thick and i promise you this is the only oil i have so this is what's gonna have to work i guess i'll just apply some and i'll what apply like a thin layer to the face and i've been having some skin problems I like the summer, it's cool and all, but I break out so bad. I break out so bad during the summer, like around my forehead and stuff area. So I really hope that, I don't know, maybe this helps in some way. But I'm supposed to just pull my skin and then just, oh. Y'all. 
it's actually doing something. Okay, one, I did not have that much hair. I genuinely didn't have that much hair, which I figured because y'all, my face does not seem hairy. Oh, oh, we're actually getting something. Oh, wait, or is that just the castor oil coming up? I think that's just the castor oil coming up. I'll add some light so y'all can see a little better, but honestly, not much is coming up. I think that's good, right? That means I don't have a hairy face. So this bet not make me start having one. Let me see. Okay, so to be honest, I really don't feel that much of a difference, but let me be quiet and finish before I make a judgment. I just finished dermaplaning and I'm gonna be honest, it's not for me. I barely had any hair and I feel no difference. So I think I just don't have a hairy face, which you can tell by my eyebrows. On to the next step. I'm gonna go in with a toner since the collagen mask said to cleanse and tone. And so I looked it up and BHA and collagen do work together. Make sure you're not just mixing stuff up. Make sure you're looking up what goes together, what works together, or your face will be burning. I can promise you that. Obviously you can use whatever toner you want, but Paula's choice is mine. She's been right to me for years now. And I also noticed whenever I pat it in, it works better than if I rub it in. I've experimented with this, y'all. So little tip, pat, not rub. I used to take a paper towel, put it on and rub it on. If you're gonna use a paper towel, dab, or you can just use your hands and dab because this also does good on your hands as well. And then I'm just gonna let this absorb a little and get into this collagen mask y'all i am so excited because i am getting to that age i'm just kidding but i think collagen helps with anti-aging and your girl maybe i don't need to do this because so many people already think i'm still in high school when they see me am i about to look like a toddler but this is the mask i also am going to be making a tiktok video on this so if I make that in time, I will insert it right here. But this is the mask. Oh, y'all, I'm excited. It's really damp. Oh, stuff like this is so cute. You need a pampering day. You need a day where you just put on your robe, put on your nice undergarments, eat, and eat healthy, y'all. Like, it don't gotta be, you know, wings and things. Eat a little healthy something and just take care of your body. It's very slippery, very heavy in products. So let's see how this goes. Ooh, 
it's called <gasps> mm. I look terrifying but I feel amazing oh this says you can apply this to your hands and your body don't mind if I do Leave on for 10 to 20 minutes. Let's see what time it is. Okay, so it's 12.15, so I'll leave this on till 12.35. So I'ma just apply the remaining gel in here to my neck and body. And then y'all, read the word. Read your word. Get a book. Watch a show. Make a meal. Call your therapist. I don't know, do something to relax. Because do you see her? Oh, y'all, stop. My face looks and feels like a baby's butt. Like, oh my goodness. Stop. Stop. <laughs> stop. We're also going to do some hyaluronic acid. Oh. Skincare going crazy. I want maximum hydration, maximum smooth, soft, supple skin. Like, stop playing with me. I'm not gonna sit here and act like I know everything that collagen does. I know collagen does that firming, tightening, good for looking youthful. Hyaluronic acid, I know it's good for moisture. That's part of my everyday routine. And I know the BHA helps to minimize pores. All that is going on right now. So I'm gonna let this sit, let this really marinate, y'all. My skin, my skin. But while I let this kind of seep in some more, I'm also going to go in with some lash serum. This is also another product I was sent to review. Y'all, I have a lot of products to review. See, brands want you to give a product review, but it's like, boo, I gotta really use the product if I'm gonna review it pro properly. So I've been using this for a couple weeks now, I'm not even gonna lie. I stopped using lashes as much as I was because I just started noticing gaps in my lashes and I naturally have long lashes. I want to keep it that way. I don't want to lose my lashes. So I stopped and I've been doing the whole mascara thing, which obviously it doesn't hit as hard as lashes, but it's still cute. I'm going to wear lashes for special occasions only. And I'm going to also be more careful with how I take them off. I'm gonna have to go back and look at videos to see if my lashes are actually growing because I've always had long lashes. So they look long, but I don't know if they're longer than they used to be or if it's the same. I'm not sure, but they look good. All right, so the last thing on this pamper routine, I'm gonna do a little bit of nail care, y'all. So we're gonna flip the camera for this part. All right, so I am not one to get my nails done. When I do, it is for a special occasion. I just hate how damaging acrylic is. Every single time I get a set, I have to give my nails a few months recovery so they can get back to their original health and it's still not even as good as it once was so i'm trying to find alternatives to acrylics that will help my nails actually grow but for the meantime i like to make sure i'm keeping up with my natural nails i like to shape them i really like the square look and i also like to make sure i'm keeping them at a reasonable length I realized the longer your nails get, the more dirt can get under your nails and there is nothing worse than looking down in the middle of the day and seeing that you have stuff under your fingernails. I hate it. While I do like to let my nails grow out, I can't do the dirt. So we'll have to find a healthy balance. 
I have this cuticle tool. I'm not sure I do it right. I still don't even know what a cuticle is. I just push things back to get more of my nail showing. That's all I try to do. I wet my nail bed just so that it's more pliable and easier to maneuver with the tool. And then I just go ahead and push them cuticles back and paint my nails a clear color because to be honest, all nail polish chips and it's way better to have just clear on your nails. So if it does chip, it's not as noticeable as having chipped colored polish because that is second worst to having dirt under your nails, especially as an adult. Alrighty ladies, so that is all for this pamper routine, just getting ourselves back to base one. Back to a good starting ground, just so we can feel good, feel fresh and clean, because I always notice y'all, whenever my hair starts to grow out, whenever my acne starts to pop up, whenever my nails are getting crazy, whenever everything is just going to mess, you act how you feel. When I know everything is going a mess, I tend to not care what I put on as much or not care for the small little details. But when I'm all made up, and not made up as in decorated, but just, I still have my natural hair, I still have my skincare, I still have my natural nails. Everything on me is still normal, but it just shows an extra level of care and just makes you feel so good. And so I hope y'all get inspired to feel good, girl. Take some time, take an hour, give yourself a nice shower where you use all those products that you just haven't used. Use the little skincare products that are just piling up and take some time and just be a girl. Thank y'all for watching and I will see you in my next video.